Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do another How to Sound Like video. This time it's going to be another affordable one and we're going to look at She Bangs the Drums by the Storm Rises. So before we get started, if you like this How to Sound Like video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss happening in my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. So like I said, this is an affordable one this time and to nail the times on this we need a strap a twin reverb a tube screamery overdrive pedal and of course a chorus pedal so i've seen john squire play this live back in the 80s and 90s and he was using a strap so i am using my macmull s classic which is a great vintage style strap but you could get this time with any standard strap style guitar as long as it has a single coil in the bridge pickup the amp i'm using today is actually my old 70s twin reverb john squire actually did use this exact model back in the 80s and 90s and surprisingly, you can pick them up for quite a good price nowadays as well. If you look on eBay, they're around 600 to 700, but they can go as low as 500. When I got mine, I think it was around 600 pounds. So it is definitely affordable compared to buying a brand new tube amp. So the pedals we're using, John Squire used a TS9 a lot and a CS9, which was the chorus pedal that Ibanez did in the 80s. I actually used to have one of these, so I know exactly what they sound like as well. They have quite a slow rate on them, even with the rate up full, and it almost sounds phasering parts as well. So the Tube Screamery TS9 style pedal that I'm going to be using is actually the ODR Mini from Nobles. So this is kind of Tube Screamery flavoured but also it kind of its own thing but it really nails the tone on this. This clocks in at around £69 which is very cheap for a good overdrive pedal. It's actually used in Nashville by a lot of the session players over there as well. And then for the chorus pedal I'm actually using the Cluster Chorus from G Labs Rebel series. This is a killer chorus pedal. We have a rate and a depth and a dry wet blend, which is killer. And then some other features as well. And this clocks in at around £86 at time of filming, which is still really cheap for a chorus pedal. I actually recently did a full demo of the cluster chorus where we checked it out more in depth and looked at all the features properly. If you'd like to see that, there'd be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. So that's all the parts. I did manage to find a multi-track, even though it's not the multi-track of the original song. It's a really high quality cover version that was actually used in Guitar Hero. So I managed to download that and actually remove the guitars and record my own in. So it won't sound exactly like Ian because it's not Ian Brown singing, but it's a very good multi-track and gets us pretty much 90% of the way there to the original recording. So the guitar part is one long thing. The only thing that changes is when it gets to like the little solo break, I just pulled the gain up on the Nobles ever so slightly. But for the rest of the song, the Nobles had settings like this. If I quickly show you what the S Classic sounds like going straight into the old silver face twin reverb set clean, a tiny bit of reverb from the actual amp is on the whole way through as well. Then I'll engage the noble so you can hear what the overdrive's doing. And then I add the settings on the clutter chorus like this. And then I'll engage that on top of the overdrive so you can hear the exact polished finish sound. So the Matmul S Classic straight into the twin sounds like this. <laughs> So like I say, that's the bass tone that we're using throughout the whole thing. The only thing I did was when it gets to the solo, I just pull up the gain on the Nobles ODR Mini just a tiny bit. And then it is double tracked. So I did one take in the left speaker and one take in the right speaker. Sounds like that's what they did on the original recording and it really adds to the sound. So if I pull out the intro song, the main guitar part that you hear throughout the whole song, and you'll see the settings of the clutter chorus on screen. And the only thing to remember is that the Nobles had settings like this. And then when it got to the solo, I just pulled the gain up a tiny bit. So the guitar parts isolated from the intro song sound like this. <laughs>
there we have it. That was an affordable How to Sound Like She Bangs the Drums by The Storm Rises. Quite a simple one because it is just one guitar part. Well, two if you count the double track, but it's the same thing with exactly the same settings on both guitars. Having the Nobles ODR Mini to nail that tube screamery overdrive time really came in handy. And then the Clutter Chorus did a fantastic job of getting that slow rate phasery sound in chorus pedal, like what John Squire would have got from his Ibanez CS9. Then of course, using my old silver face twin reverb definitely helped because that's what John Squire actually used. And then as long as you're using a good Strat style guitar with a bridge pickup, you can get very close to the original song. Again, if you want to see my full demo of the Clutter Chorus by G-Lab, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original song and any future how to sound like videos you'd like to see me do. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you go and check them out. If you did like this how to sound like video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harriet and thanks for watching.